everybody, welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast, and on this somewhat nice day, which is actually pretty shocking because we've had some pretty terrible weather lately, the sun is out, so things are looking up. We do have an empty spot in the garage where the Camaro usually lives because it is at the body shop. We are getting our new additions installed and it should all be ready right before the call out, so very exciting times. But we do have the mini bike in its place for now. We're gonna be removing the fenders, tank, and the chain guard and getting rid of the camo and going to a gloss black. So we have a few more things to add to the bike before it's ready for its race at the call out and I can't wait, it's gonna be an awesome time. So since the Camaro is now at the shop, we will be taking the Denali today. So it's time for some bald eagles. So, the 2019 Camaro reveal. Now, most Camaro channels have had a little bit to say about this already, and I think we're kind of all on the same page when it comes to first reactions, but I wanted to give it a little bit of time. I just kind of wanted to see whether this is gonna be something that maybe might have a chance of growing on me, but that just hasn't happened yet. Because my initial reaction to seeing the 2019 Camaro SS was, What the f is this piece of shit? And I haven't really changed my mind since then. So out of respect for innovation, the new Camaro is changing it up a little bit. And is it a good thing? I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to see it in person and maybe see different variations. Maybe there's just something about it that we're seeing right now that we don't really like. And, and sometimes the renderings and like your initial pictures from GM don't really kind of capture what the car looks like in natural light or in person and all that kind of good stuff. So let's talk a little bit about the good before we get into the nitty gritty. The 810 automatic going into the SS, definitely a step forward. I know the eight speed had its limitations and if you're gonna be driving it on the highway or actually doing some drag racing with the SS, the 810 is definitely gonna give you an advantage with those quicker shifts and not being able to get out of the power band. It, it is pretty amazing how fast that transmission shifts. I've had a ride in Guitar get in ZL1s, 810, ZL1, and it's absolutely amazing how fast that thing gets down the road. And I would be hard pressed if I were to buy a ZL1 to not get the automatic just because of the A10. So as far as the body modifications go, I mean, the general shape of the car is pretty much the same. They changed the front fascia, and that is probably most of people's gripe with the new design is the fact that they kind of went the way of the Bumblebee concept, and they put the bow tie in the middle of the bumper, and I just, I can't get over that. It, it, it looks funny. It doesn't look like, it kind of looks like a nose and it's not like aggressive at all. It kind of looks like clownish to me. And I've heard people say this as well, and it's starting to kind of look like a catfish that's smiling. It's, it's just not, it's not angry and aggressive. It kind of looks maybe a little bit sinister and a little bit lazy. It's kind of like maybe a, a big henchman from like a cartoon and a fish movie. That's kind of the best way I can describe it, to be honest. The new headlights I'm not a big fan of. I don't like how they took the DRL and just kind of brought it up and then into the grill. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. I don't know if they're trying to go for a more futuristic look or whatever, but when you see the 2016, 17, 18 SSs roll up with the nice daytime running lights on, they look sinister, they look menacing. And honestly, my first reaction of a 2016 Camaro SS was I was staring at it so hard, I almost rear-ended the car that was in front of me. So if that's any indication of whether you should buy that car or not, I mean, that was what sold me. That was, that was what got me back to GM. I had all Dodges before that. I mean, I, I was a Chevy guy originally, and I just kind of didn't like their designs for several years and lean toward the Dodge stuff, but the new Camaro brought me back to GM. I can honestly say if the new refresh was the current model when I was to buy my Camaro, I wouldn't have looked twice at it. I would have been running to the Dodge dealership. So these are just my opinions, and I'm sure there are people out there that are really gonna like this car, and all the power to them, but it is not for me. I would not buy this car. I just really hope they don't do the same type of thing to the ZL1. It's a good thing that they didn't do a refresh from the ZL1, 
just yet, and I hope when they do, they make it more aggressive, more mean, and make it look even better than it does now, but I really hope they don't take a step backwards like they did with the 2019 SS refresh. As for the taillights, I, I can't really get on board with them either. I think they kind of look bubbly and they're not really something that I, I would see as an aggressive look that the Camaro should have. And I really like what Westy did with the taillights on my SS and taking some of the red out and adding black and really kind of accenting the lines that are in there because that's one thing I really noticed about my sixth gen Camaro is how there's so many body lines and how it all really, really flows well together. And I think the new refresh just totally goes against the grain. So we are here at Westy's shop. This is actually the shop that Westy is going to be moving into very, very soon. And Nick Guitarmageddon ZL1 is here getting his new drag pack put together. So let's go check it out. Looks like we got some renovations going on in here getting this place all cleaned up and ready to go for the new showroom. There he is. What we got here? Yeah. Whole lot of nothing <laughs> right now. I don't think these are gonna last very a long. A little hairy though. Yeah, you might have to do a yeah. little burnout and get rid of those. Probably. Actually, I'm planning on making sure they're just like that. Make sure they stay on like that? Make, make sure they stay on so I can sell them. Yeah, know. keep them pristine. That's right, keep yeah, the yeah. outsides. Yeah, you don't wanna smoke these ones off. <laughs> We got some new bead locks. We do, yeah. Pretty fancy. There's the, there's the bead lock. You can, well, you can kind of get a look of it. And throw it on here. What it's actually going to look like. Oh, yeah. That's going to look awesome. Yeah. Did you get your small brakes put on? The, the rear brakes, I think they're on. They're, they, they were doing it yesterday. So the conversion, the control arms are on. We, we deleted the sway bar. So we don't need to worry about that. And we just have a modified control arm, essentially that this is factory just cut and welded. So, it, you know what I'm saying? So it fits. So it fits. So it's actually nice. I don't have to really. No more sparks. What's that? Yeah, no more sparks. <laughs> All on the dyno. Yeah. What? Yeah, because my wheels were grinding my lower control arm bolt. You just got to elbow drop it like Grant does. Does he? Yeah. Does he, he did. He did that to mine yesterday. It doesn't transfer because it's so flimsy. Yeah. So speaking of racing, my new helmet did come today. It is a Simpson Bandit, which is pretty awesome. I feel my 60 foot times drop every time I put it on. So what's your thoughts on the new shop? It's pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. Mm -hmm. Getting her cleaned up. Reminds me of, I'm not even gonna say it. I almost <laughs> did it again, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can't even get a valve stem cover off. Dude, what? Th this must be of the cross thread variety. I can yeah. grow this, but it doesn't actually go. It's nature's Loctite. It's either rust or a cross thread. You're gonna have to use a socket. I'm gonna have to use a tool. A wrench to get off of. <laughs> so people don't steal them. You don't want to break the bank and get the ones that say Chevrolet Performance oh, on them for geez. an extra, like, what, four or five hundred bucks? Yeah, probably. Wonder what what the, are they, over a thousand the, for a wheel? I think, like, yeah, I think a like, thousand bucks for one wheel. The DFR edition? <clears throat> no, those are a thousand problems for one wheel. <laughs> so have you seen the new Camaro SS yet? Yeah, I designed it. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> There you go, it's Westy approved, right? It's terrible. What don't, what don't you like about it? It's a, it's a Chevy. Well, I mean, isn't it like the, the No, weirdest? I mean, I, I don't like this bar that's like floating in there. Yeah, and the way they put the bow tie down. I'm I don't not, know if that bothers me as much. I don't know, I think it'll probably grow on me. I like the headlights. I don't know. I don't like that weird, just that thing floating there. I think honestly, if you'd paint that body color, it'd probably look better. Yeah, they do have a rendering of one with body color. It doesn't look nearly as bad, but I just don't think it looks aggressive like the other one. No, it definitely does. It, it takes the sinister look away. So Mikey, uh, what do you think of the new Camaro? Uh, I like the color. I like the color, that's yeah. about it? Yeah. What do you think yeah. of the front bumper? 
Nah. Not for you? Not for me. Yeah, I agree. Mikey doesn't like it, and Mikey likes everything. <laughs> <laughs> Not Mikey approved. No. So, Nick, what are your thoughts on the new Camaro? I think everybody that gives it a good review is just lying to themselves. So you think it's the best Camaro you've ever seen in your life? That, well, hands down. You're definitely going to trade in both ZL1s and on a new SS? Yeah, I'd... Yeah. So it looks like a... I would trade in both of my cars and pay money for that. <laughs> so how much you like putting these tires on? Love it. Wait till yours get here. That's right. I can't wait for you to get them in for me. You need to build more power first. Well, you'll have less rotational mass and less unsprung weight. My new wheels oh. do that. Go way faster and handle way better. Yeah. Your what? My new wheels. They can't compare to this. No, not for a drag package, no. I agree. They're too heavy. One day. One day. Next week. Next week. It's pretty happy with your new wheels, Nick? Yeah. Pretty happy that you got them for free? <laughs> Took a while, those freaking, God, it's like an arm and a leg for them wheels. Just getting them, then you have to pay for them. Well, I'll teach you how things go. So I don't know what it is with guys with two ZL1s. I think everything should be free. So here it is, Nick's new drag pack, all ready to go. One day, I'm gonna have to get a set. It looks very similar to this. But we're probably gonna have to run 17 inch tires in the rear because I don't wanna do the smaller brake setup because my car is technically not really a drag car and it's not really set up for that. I just kind of end up doing some drag racing with it. But either way, one day we're gonna have to get some better grip for the rear. All right, so drop in the comments section, what is your opinion of the new refresh for the 2019 Camaro? Junk. Like, well, we already know how Nick feels about it. I'm not really a big fan of it either. So who knows, maybe it might grow on me, but I'm not entirely convinced of that. So Nick has his new wheels and tires ready to go for the fifth gen. And I have a new set of wheels and tires as well. As soon as the car gets back from the body shop, we will be putting all that on and seeing the vision that I've had in my head for a very long time of what that car is gonna look like. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Keep that hammer down.